Melissa, thank you. Well, this morning there is growing concern about the number of car crashes we are seeing statewide. Since Saturday, five people have been killed across our state and several others injured. Wow, five. Mm -hmm. Glastonbury is the latest town to start a new safety plan now. News 8's Natasha Lubchenko joins us live this morning with how it works. Good morning, Natasha. Laura Keith, good morning to you. While following this weekend, road safety is top of mind for many state and local leaders right here in Glastonbury. They have a plan uh, to make those changes using a federal grant that they just received for $96,000. This grant basically is a catalyst. It's not just for planning, it's for action. And my hope is that Glastonbury will be at the tip of the spear with his $96,000. Now, the town manager says the town will also contribute $24,000 from its own budget to make these changes. The town says with the extra money, they'll be able to hire professionals to find out which areas need improving. Everything from crosswalks to stop signs to traffic lights. And this does come at a good time. According to the Department of Transportation, this year so far has the same number or more fatalities than record level years. In Glastonbury alone, there were two fatalities and 72 car crashes in 2023. And on a state level, leaders announced last week that they now have a grant funding to add more law enforcement on the road. So I'll tell you a little bit more about that partnership and what's expected to happen there on the state level. That's coming up in our next half hour. For now, we are live here in Glastonbury. I'm Natasha Lubchenko, Keith and Laura. Back to you.